Today I'm going to show you every Emissary Ledger reward added in Season 4. Now, first of all, this video is not a guide. I will not be showing you how to get these, I'm just showing them off. If you want to know how to get them, I have a guide from Season 2 that is still accurate, everything still works pretty much the same way. I'll leave a link to that in the description, and there'll also be a card, so you can go straight to it in the top right corner here. And every single reward in this video is still obtainable, it just takes a lot of work. If you want to see any of the previous rewards added, such as the original MSR rewards, or the Season 2 or 3 MSR rewards, I will leave links in the description to all of those. All of the new rewards are also going to be displayed with the previous rewards, just so you can kind of see the set all together. So just so you're aware, all the other rewards that I don't mention are from previous videos. This video is also split up into chapters, one for each faction, so if you just want to see, say, the Reaper's Bones rewards, you can just skip to that chapter. Okay, first of all, let's start with Gold Hoarders. At Seafair rank, you'll get the title Seafair of Vaulted Valuables. At Marauder rank, you'll get the title Marauder of Vaulted Valuables, and the Tribute Peak Capstan. At Captain rank, you'll get the title Captain of Vaulted Valuables, the Tribute Peak Sails, and the Tribute Peak Flag. Next up is Order of Souls. At Mercenary rank, you'll get the title Mercenary of Stray Spirits. At Chief rank, you'll get the title Chief of Stray Spirits, and the Relic of Darkness Capstan. And at Grandy rank, you'll get the title Grandy of Stray Spirits, and the Relic of Darkness Sails, and Flag. Next, we've got Merchant Alliance. At Cadet rank, you'll get the title Cadet of Triumphant Trades. At Commander rank, you'll get the title Commander of Triumphant Trades and the Merchant Ambassador Capstan. And at Admiral rank, you'll get the title Admiral of Triumphant Trades and the Merchant Ambassador Sales and Flag. Next up, we've got Reaper's Bones, and quickly, it is worth noting, last season's titles were fixed. They are now Servant, Keeper, and Master of Taken Treasures. So, they're now their own titles. Okay, now to this season. At Servant rank, you'll get the title Servant of Fearless Freedom. At Keeper rank, you'll get the title Keeper of Fearless Freedom, and the Mass Renegade Capstan. And at Master rank, you'll get the title Master of Fearless Freedom, and the Mass Renegade Sales and Master Renegade Flag. And now for our final faction, Athena's Fortune. At Voyager rank, you'll get the title Voyager of Valiant Vessels. At Guardian rank, you'll get the title Guardian of Valiant Vessels and the Magpie's Glory Capstan, which is the first in the Magpie's Glory set. And at Legend rank, you'll get the title Legendary Pirate of Valiant Vessels and the Magpie's Glory Wheel. And with that, that is every MSR Legend reward added in Season 4. Okay, now that is the effective end of the video. Uh, I just wanted to kind of talk about a few things quickly. So, first of all, we hit 1,500 subscribers on YouTube, which is an absurd number. Thank you guys so much. That is insane. Uh, I'm still shocked every time I see the the 1.52k subscribers. That is absurd. Uh, thank you guys so much for that. Uh, the second thing is I'm going to be camping for the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm leaving before the next video goes out, so I thought I'd talk about it in this video, but I'm not leaving right, right away. But basically what this means is I probably won't be able to respond to comments at all. I'm not sure if I'll even have cell service, so um, we'll see. So if I don't respond to your comment, it's not because I don't want to, it's because I'm probably in a forest. Now this shouldn't affect my upload schedule too, too much. I plan on making some videos in advance for Tuesday's uploads. But if there's an event like Twitch Drops or something, I won't be able to make a video on it. So hopefully nothing like Twitch Drops happens while I'm gone. Now, the thing this kind of will affect the most is my Twitch. If you didn't know, I stream Sea of Thieves every Thursday on Twitch at twitch.tv slash thewithermaster013. So I will still be doing my stream on the 4th, but I'm canceling the 11th and the 18th stream just because I'm not going to be here. The stream on the 25th, I'm not 100% sure if that'll happen or not. It depends on how I'm feeling. I think that's like right around when I get back, so... We'll see. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about that. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys, uh, I guess, on stream or when I get back. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.